Now, this can be extended for very complex situations or as many situations that you want because this is so fundamental. So doesn't matter whether you're using uh, an Oracle uh, digital IT platform or an IoT platform or using uh, SAP or using uh, Salesforce. What they're going to provide you is uh, digital IT platforms, right? Uh, but what they would provide you is how to increase customer satisfaction. And if you don't believe me, let me give you a hint. Ask your vendors, guys. You think that this digital platform, I'm going to use it and my revenue will increase. Let me not give you the, the fee for your software. Let me give you the fee for your software from the percentage of my sales. And guess what's going to happen? You'll find mm -hmm. that they would start getting into a negotiation with you because now there's a, such a huge gap between this IT platforms and implementation versus what we're talking about, the architecture. Now, when you're talking architecture, we're talking about how you identify things, how you define things, right? How do you describe it? How do you specify it? Now, these four uh, forms a very important basis and the gap which exists between all these ideas that we're talking about, all the vendor technology we're talking about versus uh, digital business realization. So what you could see here is, take example for uh, insurance business, and if you want to, uh, in, you know, increase the customer satisfaction, uh, maybe you know. So one of the factors could be the customer satisfaction could be that, uh, you know, the customers are able to uh, claim, uh, and you are able to process their, uh, you know, claims pretty fast. Now that would mean that uh, you need to uh, look at what are those uh, business processes and policies and the rules which are uh, important, right? And, and whether they are uh, from uh, your uh, payment management, from your budgeting and forecasting, from your billing, or a different kind of uh, departments that are uh, going to be uh, working together. So now you have to understand the integration of these processes which are spread across five or six different functions, right? Because it's not one person who, so you say, uh, a process is claim and it's not a click of a button, right? Yeah, there's a lot of logic, right? It, it, it know, it, I now understand we have to do this 175 task before we can say, okay, here is the check, right? And this 175 task might be spread across 16 different processes, right? And these 16 processes are across seven different functions and maybe around 43 people directly or indirectly are part of it. And then we look at what are the systems which are, be, we are currently being used and some of these, so maybe a policy management system or claim processing system, right? And we're looking at a lot of these kind of automations. And then we look at the claim processing systems, right? We're looking at different specifications for it, right? What are the different uh, customizations? What are the adaptions? And then we're looking at the implementation. So now what you could see here is uh, the, the identification, the definition of these processes, the system identification and the specifications of the system. Now, these things form the basis of your digital architecture.